All right, YouTube, the recovery is done. You're going to get an error, 1015. That is completely normal. Please do not be alarmed, and it's still going to be in the recovery mode. Um, quickly, just I've already done it just to go through quickly, but you've got to do this twice. So again, you're going to hit OK. Um, iPhone's going to, um, and iTunes is going to find that it's detected in recovery mode, that you must restore, blah, 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 blah. Again, you'd have to go to restore, shift, right click, open up your firmware, and redo it. Okay, but again, I've already done it, um, so I'm not going to show you again. Now, the next step that you have to do is you need to go into your Red Snow. I recommend downloading WinRAW. It's free and it's great, and if you have an iPhone, definitely get it. <laughs> um, so go into uh, Red Snow. We are going to open it up. Okay, now once we open it up, you get a box like this, okay? Again, you're still in recovery mode. You're going to go to Browse, okay? And you're going to find your firmware 3.1.2, the same thing you did with iTunes. You're going to hit open. It's going to process the firmware and confirm it. Once it has, it's going to come up with this box. You need to find out if you have an MC model. And uh, now that I think about it, I'm going to have to put something at the beginning to have you check to see if it's an MC model or not at the beginning. If it is an MC model, you're going to click yes. If it is not a uh, MC model, you are going to click no. Please, uh, this is very important. Mine is, so I'm going to hit yes. My understanding has a new boot run. After you do that, you're going to click next. It's going to do its little thing, whatever it does. I think it just stays in recovery mode the whole time. Okay, now you're going to come up to here where it says install Cydia and just boot tethered right now. Um, Red Snow tends to uh, freeze, so I don't install Cydia. Uncheck it, no matter what you want to uncheck it, um, and do just boot tether right now. You're going to hit next, you're going to wait, it's going to be still in recovery. Okay. Once you do that, you hit finish. The rest is with the device. Blah, 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 blah. I would say, you know, you obviously give it some time for it to do its thing. It's going to go back into the recovery mode. That is absolutely normal. As you can tell, it comes up with this little silly thing. You can't dial out, can't do nothing, no service, no nothing. You still wait. Okay. You're still going to wait. It makes them another noise there. Again, it still is not going to let you do nothing. This is completely, completely, completely normal. Um, and then I, you know, uh, AT&T customers, you would uh, open up iTunes. And the reason why we open up iTunes is that way we can activate the phone, okay? Okay, it says an update carrier settings for your iPhone is available. Would you like to download it now? I'm going to say no. As you can tell, it's activating the phone. The phone has been activated. And then that's that. So, once that's done, we're going to open it up. And then you got service. Everything's fine. Okay, now you're jailbroken. The only thing is, you don't have Cydia yet. And that's where. Uh, Black Rain comes in. So you're going to go to Black Rain. You're going to double click Black Rain. A box is going to pop up, and that's when you do your famous Make It Rain. Once you do that, it's going to enter the phone into recovery. Hit OK, hit OK until it's res and then you will see that we will open up here and then now you have Black Rain. Now, if you want City or Rock, you're going to go into Black Rain like you normally would in the past. And then you wait, <laughs> and that's when you would install Cydia or Rock, whatever.